Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks, where we paint baits and make lures. Alright, uh, I had a little request for a, uh, from a friend, actually, uh, that wants me to paint him a Bengals lure. And, uh, first let me give you a warning. If you try to do some of this stuff, you gotta be careful. Um, obviously I can't sell this stuff. Um, and this is just for him basically because he's a big Bengals fan and if you don't know the Bengals I'm talking about I'm talking about the Cincinnati Bengals who hopefully next Sunday is going to be the AFC champions again for the second year in a row um, and uh, so you got to be careful when you're doing stuff like this you know you can't put this kind of stuff out for sale you don't want to go battling against the NFL's lawyers or anything like that you know this is just a fun little lure I'm doing and like I said I'm not even selling these I'm just making them for him and uh, you know so yeah that was just a just a warning um, I've had some people want me to do different logos you know basketball like the NCAA and stuff like that and I just refuse to do them because I don't want to take any chances of of having to get a lawyer to battle the their lawyers because you won't win um, all this stuff is licensed merchandise so you know you gotta you gotta be careful um, with what you do but you can create them for your own self or fun or whatever for yourself but you just can't sell them so anyway getting to it um, so I started looking through my oranges and the only thing I could find that was close was the pearlized tangerine. I, I do have some oranges, but they're just not deep enough of a, of a reddish orange. So um, here's what I thought I would do. I'm going to take this pearl tangerine, and I've already got this bait coated in titanium white. Um, a good point for you is to, you know, when you know you're going to paint a bunch of baits, do what I do and just tape them up and paint the whites on them and let them sit you know I, I usually let these sit 24 48 hours some of them you know three or four days before I even get to them but I get them all painted ahead of time and that makes when you're using stencils that helps uh, lets the paint cure real good on the lure and it won't peel off on you um, I was doing one the other day some that I've already done on video and uh, I was trying to hurry through peeled off the sticker and peeled off the paint of the white so yeah so pre prepare your lures ahead of time let them sit on in there let that base coat sit and you'll you should be fine all right so i got titanium white on there the colors we're going to use we're going to use this pearl tangerine i'm going to put a little tiny dab of transparent bright red in there and then obviously for my stencil I'm going to use the opaque black all right so um, I don't want to put a big drop of uh, a big drop of red in there um, so let me put my uh, pearlized orange in first or tangerine I should say I don't have pearl orange I just have the tangerine and it's it's a bright orange but I need a little deeper red for the Bengals helmet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I got the pearl tangerine in there. And I got probably way more than I need. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this, open this up a little bit. And I'm just going to get a little bit out. And then what I do sometimes if I want to just add a color, a little bit of a color take this little stick and I got these at Walmart of course and get a little bit on there just a little less than a drop and then take your stick and just mix a little bit in there and that way you can control it a little better if you need a little more you can just get your stick back in there and get a little more so I'm kinda going by eye on this mix it in there real good Thing. I'm going to go just a little bit more. I probably could have used a drop, but I didn't want to feel like getting too much on there and then ended up having to throw it out for being too red. Um, I guess the other way I could have approached this is to spray the orange on there and then come back with the, a little bit of the red, but I thought this would be good for mixing because I want, I want that pearl color on there. I want a pearlized orangish red. And let's go. Just a 
drab a little more here. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's definitely getting me deeper. It's not quite a burnt orange. If I was going with a burnt orange, I would probably add something like a burnt umber or or sienna, something like that, more on a brown side to get that burnt color. But I'm really just wanting to get a reddish, kind of a reddish orange. So let's spray that and see what it looks like. I have not done these before, so... You're seeing it first. Spray a little bit, make sure I'm getting all that orange that's down in the bottom of the bowl out of there. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. All right, let's put it on there, see what it looks like. I'm gonna do the whole lower. And this is kind of a quick video, right, but I was making them for him as a request, and I thought, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and record it. Let me turn my pressure up just a little bit. Yep, I like that color. That's real close, I think, to the colors of our team. If you guys don't know, I'm from the Cincinnati area. And we love our Bengals. For years, we've been the underdogs in football. And we got that young new quarterback. Joe Burrows and he's young he's going to be with us for quite a while so we're not going to be the underdogs we play Kansas City beat them three times they beat us once so we'll see what happens this Sunday Sorry if I got any Kansas City followers. But hopefully we're going to take it. I like that orange. So if you can see how it's kind of a little more deep, deep orange. Kind of a reddish orange. It's almost perfect. So those are some good tips for you when you want to mix a color and add in something. Maybe you want to deepen it up a little bit. Use a little stick, a toothpick, something like that that you can just dab a little bit in there. Yeah. Don't forget your ends. And this is another spot you sometimes forget and you uh, end up cleaning out your brush and then you're like, oh shit, I forgot to get the tip right up under that nose. All right, I'm going to clean this orange out just enough to put some black in it. We'll put the stencil on it, pick out some really cool eyes for them. And um, yeah, Cincinnati Bengals, baby. Who day? Okay, got my stencil on here. Got my black in the brush. Um, I put a little tape on the eyeball because I don't want to get any black through the eye hole. And normally I'll hold my finger over it too if I want to do that. But um, And I put a little mask on the back side of it just so you don't get no overspray. And uh, let's put the black stripes on there.
all right there's one side let's peel that off see what it looks like I sprayed it well let's see let's look down at the bottom here you can see I got a little bit of miss always give it a good look over before you peel it off Okay, I think that's gonna do it. We'll give it just a little bit of heat. And let's see what the stripes look like. There we go. All right, let me get the other stencil on there. I'm gonna put the other side on. Okay, got the other side on. Let me uh, cover up the side socket real quick. Again, I put a little mask on the back just so I don't get overspray. If I was gonna put black across the back, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I would just go ahead and. But I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna leave this orange on the back all right there we go spray the Alright, I think that's going to be it. Let me give it a little heat. Actually, when I cut my stencil, I got kind of close to the edge when I was cutting it out. But I probably could have left a little more space at the top. would have helped give me a little more space around my stencil. But since I didn't feel like recutting it. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Cincinnati Bengals, baby. All right, let's get some eyes on him. I think I got some eyes picked out um, that I'm going to go with. I was trying to decide should I go orange or black. Um, so let me show you what I got. And we'll go ahead and put the eyes on. <laughs> um, I got two choices here. I got the really dark black, almost black solid eyes. And then I got these. The closest I could find to orange was these right here. I don't know if those are gonna give me enough contrast, so I think I'm going with the with the black eyes. So let's put the black eyes on there, make them look meaner. All right, I'm out of my favorite glue, so we're gonna use this um, Loctite. It's another good backup. The gel, as you can just get a little dab on there. Some people use like the gel too. 
I'm, I'm using it just because I haven't been to get some more Gorilla Glue. I might I might even end up switching to this. It's kind of the gel's kind of nice. Let me know in the comments if you're painting. What do you like? Do you like the Loctite gel? Yeah, I think the black eyes is going to be a good choice. Burnisher tool here. People ask me all the time about this. This is just a little burnisher tool I found at the dollar store. And it's nice because you can push your eye down and you don't have to really use your finger and get glue all over your eye. There you go. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. All right. Let's get the other eyeball on here. I'll get her all epoxied up. And uh, we'll wrap this video up. You got a little more control with the gel. Not as good as much. That's kind of why I like the brush too. Because I can just touch the brush on there without... But sometimes that liquid... Um, the uh, Gorilla Glue with the brush. Sometimes it gets stringy after it's been sitting around for a while. Sometimes I can lay them eyes right on there. And sometimes it just battle around with them. That one went on there pretty good. Use a little tool. Push it down. Make sure it's all down real good. Let's peel the tape off of it. And we'll be ready for Sunday's big game. Yeah, I'll definitely like the black eyes now that I got them on there. I guess the only thing I wish I would have done was extend my stencil all the way across the back, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to get some epoxy on it. I'll bring you guys back and show you the finished lure. Okay, guys, here we are. We're back with the finished uh, Bengals helmet lure. I think it turned out pretty good. Um... Yeah, the only thing different I wish I would have done was make my stencil so that I could kind of extend it all the way across the top. But, you know, it looks good. It probably won't be fished. If you'd like to trade a lure, be sure and get in touch with me. I'd love to have one of your lures, see your paint, see your work. Even if you're a beginner, that's cool. I love seeing everybody's work. It's just amazing. You guys are doing awesome. And uh, it's a lot of fun trading lures, meeting other people, and growing the Krusty Cranks team, crew, whatever. And uh, so, yeah, I really, really appreciate everybody's support, especially in helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. I would have never thought that uh, that was going to happen. But, uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Um, remember, if you want to change a color, there's different ways you can do that. And, uh, you know, adding in... Adding in some little little bit of red to that orange just kind of deepened it up a little bit. I think it made it pretty good. Um, so colors we used on this lure was uh, titanium white for the base. And then I used uh, pearl tangerine with a tiny little bit of red in it just to deepen it up a little bit. And then we put the stripes on with uh, opaque black. So yeah. All right, um, appreciate everybody subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up the next video. And I got uh, something a little different than what we've been doing coming up. So stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next video. Everybody remember, stay crusty, my friends. <laughs>